Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sorbset video blog. This is the one where I will tell you everything you want to know about keyword difficulty. From how it's calculated to what it means when you see a certain number on the keyword difficulty scale. So if that is something you want to know, just keep on watching. First thing that comes to mind when I think of keyword difficulty is backlinks. This is the most important parameter that is included in this metric, the number of incoming backlinks. There are two ways to calculate keyword difficulty based on backlinks. Some tools calculate difficulty based on the number of incoming backlinks to the top domain, uh, and other tools, uh, including Sorbstat, calculate the number of incoming links to a certain URL from the top 10. And as you may have guessed, the second one is more accurate, because if you have Wikipedia at the top of the list, for a certain keyword, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is hard keyword to rank for. But the tools to show keyword difficulty based on the number of incoming links to the top domain uh, will increase the keyword difficulty for this keyword because there is a domain with millions and billions of incoming links, such as Wikipedia. So backlinks is the main parameter when it comes to calculating keyword difficulty. But we at Surfset went further and included a few more to make sure that our keyword difficulty is the best one there is. So here's the list of things we consider when calculating the keyword difficulty. The first one is obviously the number of backlinks uh, that the pages in the top 10 results have. The second parameter is the number of referring domains, uh, which is an addition to backlink profile. Another two metrics related to backlinks are Surfset page rank and Surfset trust rank. So these first four parameters that we calculate uh, show us the following. They show us how many domains uh, link to the top pages, how many backlinks the top pages have, and they also show us the quality of these top pages based on the backlink profiles. The other metrics are not related to backlinks, and this is what makes SERPSAT's keyword difficulty different. Apart from backlinks, we calculate how many domains there are that use the exact match keyword in titles, and how many URLs there are with the exact match keyword in titles across the whole web. Uh, and on top of that, we also calculate the number of the main pages uh, at the top of the SORP, uh, which is the very important factor uh, that many tools ignore. Because if there is a main page ranking for this keyword, it means that there is a whole website which targets this keyword at the main part of their SEO strategy, which increases the difficulty. You may have noticed that we added this metric a few months back, uh, and if you didn't, it means that you probably don't use the Google United States database, because this is the first database we decided to implement this new feature to. So if you want to see how it works, just uh, switch to the Google US database, type in any keyword, and you will see the keyword uh, difficulty metric at the top of the overview page, and it will also be present in almost every list of keywords that you can get with Sharpstat. Now let me try and explain what the numbers mean to you. There are four stages in keyword difficulty, 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, and 60 to 100. Uh, each level is increasing the difficulty. 0 to 20 is a keyword that is easy to rank for. 20 to 40 is a keyword that, is, uh, that has an average difficulty. 40 to 60, that is already a hard keyword. And 60 plus, that is a near impossible keyword. So ideally, you, have, you want to be targeting keywords uh, within a range from 0 to 40. But do not be afraid of difficult keywords, because we've analyzed our database and we found that most of the keywords are easy and average to rank for, thanks to our huge database, because we have a lot of long tail keywords and keywords with uh, lower search volumes, which no one targets with their main page. If you are interested in the exact numbers of how many keywords that are difficult we have, what is the most difficult keyword, what is the least difficult keyword, make sure to go ahead and check out the article on our blog. I will leave the link uh, in the description. Uh, in that article, our editor made a far better job of explaining things that I'm doing here right now. So make sure to check that out. And if you are working with a database other than the United States, uh, do not be worried. We are working on keyword difficulty every day and it's coming soon to our other databases. So keep an eye out, follow our blog and uh, social media channels, and you will be the first one to learn the news when the keyword difficulty is launched for your database. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.